Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students, in last lecture we did first three questions of exercise 5.2 from chapter number 5 name is equations inequalities and graphs and the topic of exercise 5.2 is the absolute values inequalities today we are going to do question number 4 but before I start this question I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math watch previous lecture of this exercise then you will have good command on this topic let's start question number four part one solve part a 2x minus 3 absolute value x minus 1 so what I told you in last class we have to take right hand side first as a plus and second as a minus solve and then find the critical values 2x minus x is x minus 1 plus 3 is 2 Similarly, 2x minus 3 is equals to minus x plus 1. 2x minus x is 3x and minus 3 plus 1 is 4. So, x is equals to 4 upon 3. These are not solutions. These are our critical values. Now, we have to solve. We have to find the solution of this absolute value inequality it's very easy we draw a rough number line and write both critical values in our number line the smallest value write first that is 4 upon 3 the greater values write second after the smallest value that is 2 now split these two values in three region one is from left hand side of 4 upon 3 the middle of 4 upon 3 and 2 and the right of 2 and write the question again that is 2x minus 3 absolute values less than equals to x minus 1 so first you have to take the value between 4 upon 3 and 2 so there are so many values between 4 upon 3 and 2 4 upon 3 is 1.3 4 upon 3 is 1.3 so I am taking the value for example x is equals to 1.5 for example so 2 into 1.5 minus 3 less than equals to 1.5 minus 1 so 2 into 1.5 minus 3 is 0 1.5 minus 1 is 0 0.5 so it is true because you know everyone is knows that 0 is less than equals to 0 0.5 hence our solution is x greater than equals to 4 upon 3 and less than equals to 2 this is the answer of part a question number 4 move to part b our today's class consists of only question number 4 now move to part b what is part B? 5 
plus x greater than 7 minus 2x so 5 plus x first is right as it is that is plus 5 plus x then write minus of 7 minus 2x solve to find the critical values minus 2x plus x is 3x 7 minus 5 is 2 x is equals to 2 upon 3 then 5 plus x is equals to minus 7 plus 2x minus 7 becomes plus 7 or right hand side it is 12 7 plus 5 is 12 2x minus x is x now we have three values oh, sorry we have two values two critical values one is 2 upon 3 and one is 12 again split these two values into three regions one is from left hand side of 2 upon 3 one is between 2 upon 3 and 12 and one is right side of 12 first we have to check the value between 2 upon 3 first we have to write the question 5 plus x greater than 7 minus 2 x first we have to take the value between 2 upon 3 and 12 that is I am taking x is equals to 1 so 5 plus 1 is greater than 7 minus 2 1 the 2 5 plus 1 is 6 greater than 7 minus 2 is 5 6 is greater than 5 So our answer okay check one more value that is 13 x is equals to 13 so 5 plus 13 greater than 7 minus 2 into 13 13 plus 5 is 18 7 minus 13 to the 26 26 minus 7 is minus 19 so 18 is greater than minus 19 is it means eighteen is greater than minus nineteen so it means greater than twelve is also exist now take the value of uh, left hand side of two upon three that is I am taking for example zero point four so when x is equals to zero point four then five plus zero point four is greater than seven minus two into zero point four so it is five point four and 7 minus 2 into 0 0.4 is 7 minus 2 into 0.4 is 6.2 so 5.4 greater than 6.2 is not exist do you understand so 2 upon 3 between 2 upon 3 and 12 is exist and greater than 12 is also exist therefore we have only one solution that is x is greater than 2 upon 3 because x is greater than 2 upon 3 is also exist x is greater than 12 is also exist therefore x is greater than 2 upon 3 is our answer it means all values all real values which is greater than 2 upon 3 is exists so this is our answer move to question number uh, 4 part C so this is our final answer part C is what
part C x minus 2 minus 3x less than equals to 1 x minus 2 less than equals to 1 plus 3x now find the critical values x minus 2 is equals to 1 plus 3x x minus 2 is equals to minus 1 plus 3x from here minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 3x minus x is 2x and x is equals to minus 3 upon 2 so x minus 2 is equals to minus 1 minus 3x and minus 3x becomes plus x 3x is 4x minus 2 becomes plus 2 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 x is equals to 1 upon 4 so we have two critical values now draw the number line one value is minus 3 upon 2 other value is 1 upon 4 now again split the region split the line number line in three regions one is between minus 3 upon 2 and 1 upon 4 second is greater than 1 upon 4 third is less than minus 1 upon 2 so I am taking the question again our question is x minus 2 absolute value minus 3x less than equals to 1 first I am taking x is equals to minus 3 upon 2 so I am taking minus greater than minus 1 minus 3 upon 2 is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 2 2 minus 3 minus 1 less than equals to 1 minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 minus 3 minus minus plus 3 less than equals to 1 minus 3 when comes out from the absolute value it is plus 3 3 plus 3 6 6 is less than equals to 1 which is not true 6 is greater than 1 next is I am taking the value which is greater than 1 upon 4 for example x is greater than 1 upon 4 you can take any value I am taking 1 so our question is what our question is x minus 2 so 1 minus 2 minus 3 1 less than equals to 1 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus 3 less than equals to 1 minus 1 outside the when minus 1 out, uh, comes out from the absolute value it is plus 1 minus 3 less than equals to 1 minus 2 less than equals to 1 yes it is true hence we have only one solution of this absolute value inequality that is x is greater than equals to 1 upon 4 and this is our final answer and this is our today's class where we did all three parts of question number 4 what is left after question number 4 <coughs> question number 5 very very important question question number 6 question number 7 question number 8 and 9 no problem I will do all remaining questions all remaining questions all remaining parts but before next lecture kindly to practice the whole exercise 5.2 and all question uh, sorry whole exercise 5.1 and all questions from exercise 5.2 1 to 4 I request all of you then that kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos my lectures my channel as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture